Yes, so I'm going to be showing you a selection set. I think everyone should know it. It depends on what you're trying to do. If you are maybe at a beginner level and you want to work with a lot of imported meshes and you have to make a lot of really obnoxious selections all the time, this will be helpful for you. I have a model with it already done so that you don't have to sit here and witness me selecting every facet individually. But how it works is in ma you make a bunch of selections and you can right click on it and you will save that selection, everything you have selected into a selection set. You can give it a name and it will show up in the feature tree. And you can use the selection set for your features. And so in this example here, I'm showing you, um, this is actually a 3D scan of a last for a shoe. I'm teaching myself how to make shoes and the last that I had was too big. So I need to scan it, um, make some tweaks in SOLIDWORKS and then scale it back down. But I also wanted to know if I could extract the pattern from this. And the answer is yes. And so I did that by selecting every facet that makes up the sole and every facet that makes up the uppers, saving them each into selection sets, and then using that to create a copy of the surface, which I flattened out as a pattern. For the camera, I am a trackpad user, an absolute monster, I understand. And so I am holding control while I make all these selections. You'll still have to hold control if you're using a mouse. I'm doing a small example here. I am now releasing control, and you'll see that that circle appeared on my computer. If I right click, on this, I get my menu and I have save selection. And I can choose to save it over one of my previous selection sets I've already created, or I could create a new one. So you starting from the beginning, you'll want to create a new one. So let's do new selection set. And it appears here at the bottom of your list. You can rename it if you would like to. If you expand it, it will show you every single face you selected. Like, like I said earlier, this is a 3D scan of a real thing that I have. I needed to make some tweaks to the real thing, but I didn't want to mess with the original. I wanted to make a copy, so if I messed up, I could try again and it, like, it would be fine. And so working with imported scan data, I mean, you see there's all of these facets, and it's always going to be like that if you're working with something that's an imported scan. I'll go to this one. I renamed the features I care about so that and it'll be easier to explain to people. So real quick, I just want to explain what you're seeing. Um, there's something that's blue and there's something that's gray. Um, the gray part is the actual solid body. The blue part was generated as part of this. Um, I used an old add-in called Scanter 3 d and that's what that mesh is. That's the blue part. So we're going to ignore the blue part. Actually, I'll just hide it so that you're not looking at it. Let's hide this. And now you see all that's left is this surface. And I created this surface, let's call it, it's the uppers, by doing, let me just edit this feature so you can see. Okay, so what I did was, to get this command, I did offset surface. If you set the offset to zero, it becomes copy surface. And that's just a convenient thing. So here, because I chose my selection set to populate the selection box, which you can just pick from the tree, up here. So you can open your selection set folder and pick your selection set. It will take every single one of those selections and put it in here. Look how long this box is. 1,168 facet, er, facets, yes. Um, don't manually select those, only do it once. Save it to a selection set. Save yourself sanity. <laughs>